Hey YouTube, it's Ruka here. So in this video, I wanted to do a back to school college advice video. I wish I had a sister or brother or just an older figure telling me, you know, this is how your first year of college will be. You know, I wish there was someone who would guide me through my first year, but I didn't because I am the oldest out of my siblings and I thought it'd be really, really fun to share some of the tips that I have for you guys if you just started college right now in September or if you um, have been in college but have no idea about anything, then this video is going to be for you. So a little bit of information about myself if you're new to my channel. My name is Ruka. Um, I am 21 years old. I'm currently a junior studying anthropology at my university. And I'm originally from the States. I was born and raised there until I graduated high school. And currently I am living in Japan right now. So I go to a Japanese school, um, university, but all my classes that I take in are in English. So yeah, hopefully this video will be helpful for you, but yeah, let's just, let's just get started. So number one, it's okay to take a gap year. Um, so I know the whole gap year trend might be more popular in countries like Europe or Australia, but in the States where I'm originally from, we don't really hear that often. And even in Japan, if you say that you are a doninse or, you know, you are taking a year to study and try your exams again. I don't know why, but there's such, I guess, some sort of negative vibe to it. But you know what, girlfriend? It's totally okay. That's actually what I did. Um, my school year in the States, we end school or we graduate in June, and I was planning to go to an American university. So I was supposed to start college in September, but then there were just a lot of complications, and that actually didn't turn out. Although I did get accepted to the university that I was planning to go to. And so I don't know what reason you plan to take your gap year for whether it be to travel around the world or let's say you didn't get accepted to a university that you wanted to really go to and so you want to use the time off to really study and try to get into your dream college I say go for it you're still young you're probably 17 18 you know you got a whole life of ahead of you so it's totally okay if you take a gap year number two choosing your classes when you're trying to arrange your classes and everything my number one tip is get some advice from your upper class and friends if you have any and if you have the freedom to choose your classes make sure you pick classes that kind of interest you because who wants to be stuck in a class that doesn't even interest you but you are just kind of taking it because you know just because you know it just doesn't make sense and also ask your upperclassmen friends about professors this is huge ever since I was in high school I noticed that I do so good in all my classes like I literally get A's in all my classes where I clicked with the professor or the teacher because the professor or teacher's teaching skills were the bomb and this is so important and I even noticed this in my college classes you know with professors that are super super good at you know teaching their subject and are truly good good teachers there's so many smart professors out there you know but there's a huge difference between a smart professor and a good teacher you know what I mean also another thing with classes figure out what kind of student you are so are you a test taker are you an essay writer personally for me I love writing I would honestly rather write a 10 page paper opposed to taking a 10 page exam I don't know that's what I do best and let's say you are an essay writer but you know the class requires you to take weekly tests and quizzes Honestly, that class isn't going to be for you. If you have the freedom to kind of pick and choose your classes, then totally do what's best for you, okay? After all, you are the one paying for your education, so you want to do good. Number three, part-time jobs. So I don't know how any college student survives their four years without working a part-time job. How is that possible? Unless you are like filthy rich and you are blessed. If you are, kudos to you. I totally wish I were you right now. But most college students, including myself, are super, super broke. And so it's really important to kind of make your money if you can. However, if you are a student that's attending a out-of-state school or even in-state but a new city or town, you are going to have to adjust to that environment. And I think it's okay to kind of rely on your parents your first semester or your first year. For me, oh my god, it was moving to a different country. So I had to kind of get used to the train systems in Japan and just the city in general. Use that first semester to really just focus on your studies and um, get just getting used to the environment. And then, I guess your second semester, your second year, when you're really comfortable with your new environment, then start looking for a good part-time job. It's super important to kind of make your own money, and honestly, when I see kids 
going out every single weekend with their parents money I'm like really honey really personally speaking for myself I want to help out my parents as much as possible they have truly done so much for me even up to this day and so if I can help them out in any way possible I want to and I will now this is kind of a given but part-time job is not your full-time job education always comes first I know some kids in college who kind of I don't know miss understand that idea and make their part-time job their full-time job and they begin not going to classes and they begin to fail and you know what's the point of that number four apply for scholarships scholarships are huge and if you have the opportunity to and you qualify for the scholarship then please try it there are so many scholarships out there that you actually might not know of and it really doesn't hurt for you to apply whether you're paying for your own tuition or your parents are paying for your tuition a little bit of help from anywhere really truly does help and so if you have the chance to and you do qualify for it definitely look into applying for scholarships and try to do them early so you're not kind of stressed and doing them last minute and you write a BS application because it's gonna show honey it's gonna show numero cinco join a club or a circle at your school sorry I'm drinking tea right now but um we don't have Greek life here in Japan which really sucks um, and we only have clubs and circles at our school but if you're passionate about anything there is going to be a club or circle or a community that is just right for you I am currently part of Habitat for Humanity which is a volunteer circle slash organization slash club and I truly feel comfortable in where I belong and so you're going to make so many new friends it's also a place where you can interact and connect with people from other um, faculties or, or people from other studies you know, who are studying different things and it's going to be a big part of your college life and so yeah it's always fun to connect right number six make your own lunch if you can we do have three cafeterias at my school and my first year I was stupid and I didn't think to pack my lunch I would buy my lunch all the time and at one point um, yes I did get tired of the cafeteria food but also I was doing the math in my head and I was like wow I'm wasting so much money every single day on lunch and starting from my sophomore year I decided to make lunch every single day and I thought that I would give up but honestly till this day I still do and I also fill up my own water bottle every single day as well so I'm not buying like new water bottles or you know tea bottles every single day and it just really really has helped me save a lot of money we're broke in college okay so <laughs> it's going to help you honestly just try it and also you can kind of get tired of the food that you're packing all the time but you can always um, switch up your menu so you can bring like pasta or you can also make like a sandwich and just switch it up throughout the week and you're gonna save yourself so much money and be like Rika you saved my life and be like, yes, I know, girlfriend. Number seven, we're gonna talk about trust issues and friends. Friends are a huge part of your college life and um, someone did tell me that the friends that you make in college are going to be your lifetime friends and I do honestly think that. Um, but you really, really wanna be careful with the information you share to people. Basically, in college, you're going to be meeting so many people, whether it be at school, you know, in classes or, you know, outside of school, at parties. You're gonna meet so many people and you're gonna be networking like crazy so I'm not saying don't trust anyone and don't tell anyone about your life no but um basically I'm saying be very careful with who you share certain stuff with I don't know with me I guess if I'm not super close with you I just don't feel the need to share certain things about me or open up um, certain things about myself to you you know because I just met you honey I don't I just don't feel comfortable you know people just come and go sometimes and it could get very scary so if you have information that you don't want to share with certain people it's okay not to and I'm on the same boat with you some people are going to want to share their entire life with you and the people that I hate the most are like okay so here's my love life here's my sex life here's my private life okay now tell me all yours and I'm like No. So yeah, some people are super open, but if you are, you know, kind of on the private side and you don't feel comfortable sharing that, then it's totally fine to kind of not do so, but don't feel pressure that you have to just because they did, okay? Those people are just being nosy and I fucking hate nosy people. Seriously, get a life. Sometimes there's a line that you should not cross. Be able to see the line. 
just say. Number eight, the college can get a little crazy. Am I right or am I right? You're trying to make dinner plans with people. You also have due dates. You have, you know, your job. You have just so many things to think of. And so a planner is going to be your best friend. This is my planner. Um, I'm old fashioned and I like you know, to actually write in all my plans into my calendar, personal calendar. Whether you are a old-fashioned person like me or um, someone who's digital and likes to write it into their phone, um, either way, it's just going to help you keep track of your life. And so I think a planner is super, super essential to any college student. Number nine, I don't know if this is kind of going to be helpful, but for me it is, so I'm going to tell you, and it is carrying around a portable phone charger. So I feel like right now in our generation, we are always on our phone, constantly on our phone, and especially in Japan, whether we are transporting by train, you know, I use my phone to kind of figure out the train schedule. I use my phone when I get to school and I'm trying to figure out, you know, what room I have classes in. So my battery life is like, it's gone like that. And so a portable mobile charger is just like essential to me. And so I highly recommend you carry one around as well. It's going to save you because you never know when you can kind of actually find a plug to kind of, you know, charge your phone. Number 10, last one is grow up. I don't know if this is a tip, but this is just something that I feel like I experience and I see happening all the time when I'm at school. So when we're in college, we're like 18 to 22 or 24, but you know, late teens, mostly early 20s, okay? And so we are freaking adults. And college, you know, it's nice because we have more freedom than high school. It also means that you have a lot more responsibility. And some people still, when they get to college, do not act like 20 year olds. They literally act like five year olds at times and it just blows my mind. Whether it be, you know, causing drama between your friendships or just actual behavior in general. We are not children. We need to grow up. College is definitely a time where you kind of find yourself and you get to know a lot more about yourself. But in general, I also think it's a super important time to kind of realize to grow up and I really hope more people do. I'm not saying that oh, I'm an adult, blah, 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 you know? But there's so many instances where I feel so much like a grandma because maybe the way I think. I think this video got a little too long. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And those are just some of my tips and advice on college. I do want to congratulate all the new students out there who have just started college. It's definitely a fun time and definitely enjoy each, each moment of it because it's going to fly by. That's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like this video if you want to hear more advice videos and stuff like that. And um, if you have any, you know, requests on what kind of advice videos I should make um, later on in the future, then let me know. Bye guys!